In the beginning, there was Kitty. Just Kitty. Only Kitty. Kitty all by herself. And life was good. Kitty ate her food alone. Kitty played with her toys alone. Kitty slept on the sofa alone. The years passed and Kitty was happy to eat alone. Play alone. And sleep alone. Life continued to be good alone. The skies became dark. The ground began to shake. The air became cold and dank and filled with a horrible stench. A foul and wretched beast had arrived as if from nowhere. Its face was deformed and grotesque. Its massive black nose was always cold and always wet. Its breath was so hot and so foul that its odor could mask the stench of a hundred dead fish lying in the sun. It had seemed to be filled with a noxious, clear liquid that continuously dripped out of the vast gaping maw it called its mouth. But what was worst of all? Worse than its ugliness? Worse than its terrible stink? And even worse than a never-ending trail of ooze it left behind wherever it went? Was that the beast never seemed to sleep. Kitty fought bravely to rid her once peaceful kingdom of this cruel beast. But even she wasn't mighty enough to defeat the evil creature. Every time they confronted each other, the hideous beast would smear its foul, oily liquid on Kitty as if preparing to devour her. Survival became a daily challenge for poor Kitty. Over time, Kitty became used to life with the beast. Even its horrible odor became tolerable. Brave Kitty found areas of shelter where she could evade the beast and its terrible liquid. At times, though, she would never admit it. She became almost fond of the beast. Life was not as it once was, but eventually it became good again. Little did Kitty know that soon there would be another bad kitty, Nick Brule.